Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this afternoon. Um, uh, uh, so this afternoon. Uh, apologize. Uh, Where did this start? Yeah. Okay. Um, this incident started in Everett, in South Everett. Uh, our officers located a wanted suspect for a murder one charge out of Yakima, Washington, and they attempted to stop that vehicle. When they did, that vehicle fled at a high rate of speed. Uh, ended up going into North Everett and then down I-5. Ultimately ended up here in Edmonds, Washington, uh, where we were able to catch capture both occupants of the vehicle after they bailed out. Uh, the passenger of this vehicle is, is the one who's wanted for murder first degree out of Yakima, and the driver uh, now will have local charges for reckless driving, those types of things. Uh, fortunately, in this incident, uh, there are only a couple of vehicles that have collision damage to them, and there were no reports of citizens or law enforcement being injured. Uh, we were fortunate enough as well to have multiple law enforcement agencies assist us in this process, uh, which helped us uh, find a successful conclusion. So was it both citizen and law enforcement vehicles involved in those collisions? Correct. That's my understanding is that both citizen and law enforcement vehicles were involved. Of the citizen vehicles, most of them were parked vehicles on the side of the road. So again, fortunately, there were no injuries to any, any citizens. Uh, typically, we don't pursue vehicles. However, in this case, there was a, a clear and a clear danger to the community uh, if these suspects had been able to flee and continue doing what they were doing. And so the department, we made the decision to pursue that, the vehicle down here through Edmonds. Do you have an estimated speed on I-5? Uh, we don't have any estimated speed uh, currently. I'm sure that will all be part of the investigation uh, as detectives work to figure out what, what happened and kind of come up with a conclusion and make sure that the appropriate policies were followed. Did he fire any guns at you guys? Uh, it's my understanding that no guns were fired during this chase. Uh, there were no injuries to anybody in the, in the public was. Did you recover a gun? Uh, at this point in time, I don't know what's been recovered or not. Uh, the vehicle will be taken as an impound. Uh, so search warrant can be served on it to find out what was inside. What's the relationship between the suspect and the driver? I don't know what the relationship between the suspect and the driver at this point in time. Uh, that's going to be part of the ongoing investigation. We do know, though, that the driver was wanted out of Yakima, and now the, uh, I'm sorry, the suspect the suspect passenger was wanted out of Yakima, and the driver now will have local charges on him. You're releasing their identities? Yeah, because So I don't know what the situation or the route was about. Um, I do know that the, the, there were several turns and twists that occurred uh, before it went on the freeway, uh, several surface streets in the city of Everett. Um, do not believe in any way, shape, or form that the incident this morning in Everett was related to this at all. I believe these are completely separate and distinct. Uh, it's possible that uh, since the suspect was wanted out of Yakima, that maybe they didn't know the area, so that will probably be part of that ongoing investigation. Are you releasing the identities of, of those involved? So until there's actual formal charges, uh, we will not release the identity. That will be up to Yakima themselves. They can they can release the identity of their suspect. And then once formal charges have been made, uh, then we'll be able to release the identity of the driver as well. Was the person driving erratically or what initiated the initial traffic stop? Um, so our officers were able to find out, our, our officers believed that the suspect from Yakima was in that vehicle. And uh, as they attempted to stop that vehicle, it started driving in an erratic manner, took off at a high rate of speed, uh, which is when we uh, pursued that vehicle. Did you ram the vehicle to stop it, or how did it come to an end right here with the damage? That's a great question. I don't have that answer for you. I don't believe there was any ramming, intentional ramming from uh, law enforcement on that vehicle. So they just stopped it themselves here? I'm, I'm not sure if that vehicle, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Did they yes. run far, or were they uh, arrested? So um, I know that they were captured in the local area here. Uh, we had numerous law enforcement agencies that were here, uh, which led to a quick and successful capture once the vehicle came to a stop. They did run. They did run on foot, yes. Did you stop them? I don't know. I don't That's know. Okay, did you see them? All right. So we'll go with that. Uh, we'll give uh, them credit for a capture. So they yeah. ditched the car and then ran off and then... Yes. So the vehicle ended here. I, I'm, again, I, I don't believe that it was uh, any pit maneuvers or those types of things from law enforcement. Okay. I, I do know the vehicle came to a stop here, and both occupants fled from the vehicle on foot. That uh, they were captured nearby. Okay. So I don't have the number yet of uh, park civilian cars. Um, I just know that uh, in, in being brief for this, I know that there will undoubtedly be charges associated with that for the driver for fleeing from the scene of hitting a parked vehicle.